What's going on my dudes, One Step here with Mortal Kombat characters, but we're giving them their Pokemon types. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into assigning these Mortal Kombat characters, their Pokemon type. As we go through this too, let me know it down below. Once we hit your main character, what type of Pokemon do you think they would be? And do you agree with my decision? Let me know your thoughts down below. Katana is gonna be a steel type. I mean, obviously she has the fans. She just screams steel type to me. I could see her having steel type moves. It kind of just makes sense. For some reason, man, Melina just screams fairy type to me. Maybe it's the pink aura that she has or like the the ball roll she's got the pink teleport just the, the her moveset screams fairy type for some reason tanya was a bit of a thinker i kind of came up with the idea that maybe she's going to be dark and fighting so i'm going to have duo types here and i think i think she can be i think she'd be more of a dark type but also have some fighting with her moveset so i think tanya is going to be ended up being dark fighting this is an easy one rain is a water type obviously I, I, what <laughs> what else could maybe ice but i think it's just pure water type i considered smoke being a ghost type because you know the ghost hide in the shadows but i feel like dark type fits even better maybe even dark poison but i feel like a solid at dark type fits him a bit more scorpion is going to be an absolute pure fire type he's like charizard he's the third evolution of his line he's a fire type duh i don't know what you want me to say sub zero is an ice type that makes duh what what else would he be he's not he's not easy he's an ice type and it just fits too well reptile i considered making a dragon type uh you know the reptilian thing whatever but i think that that poison makes a bit more sense. I think Reptile being a full-fledged poison type just fits his aesthetic, fits him as a character. Reptile would definitely be a poison type. But Lee Mei, on the other hand, I do think would make for an awesome dragon type Pokemon. I mean, think about our moveset. It just kind of makes sense. Kenshi is gonna be a psychic type. I mean, I mean, obviously, look at him. The the blind on his face, like the 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 Sento stance. Dude, the psychic type fits him so well. And then Baraka is gonna be our very first bug slash steel type oh, right when i came up with that i was like oh my god perfect bug steel dude that is literally who he is okay gears is also going to be a dual type and i think it's gonna be rock psychic rock psychic pokemon type fits gears awesomely not only that so rock psychic but i think we're gonna make gears a legendary he's gonna be our first legendary of this line super rare super hard to catch rock psychic legendary Absolutely. Now, Shang Tsung's outcome that I came up with actually seems really interesting. He's going to be a fire ghost type ghost because he can actually morph into his opponent. And of course, fire because of the fire skulls. It, it kind of, it really just makes sense. And I feel like that's a really cool combination, even in the Pokemon world, to have a fire ghost type. General Shao, like Lee Mei, is going to be a solid, pure blood dragon type. This right, just look at him. Look at him. That is a dragon. That's, he's, he's, he's the third, he's like Salamence, bro. He's, he's the third evolution. He's like full on full fledged dragon. Sindel is gonna be a dark type. I feel like Ghost almost fit, but she just the aesthetic. She's a dark type. Rico is actually gonna be our first full fledged fighting type. Nothing else, just full on fighting type. Raiden is of course electric. Obviously, I mean I considered electric flying because of his fly move, but I feel like electric just fits like like, like a solid electric type just fits him more. And then Liu Kang is gonna be a dual type fire fighting. So fire fighting, not only that, of course he's gonna be a legend. Legendary. Maybe even a mythic. Maybe maybe Garrus is the legendary and Liu Kang is the mythic. You know, creator of all creation. He's basically Arceus from Pokemon. So he's a fire fighting mythic Pokemon. Like you need a certain code to get him. You know what I mean? Like you, you, ain't, you, you ain't gonna find him in the wild. Johnny Cage is also just a pure full-fledged fighting type because he's got really nothing else going on for him. He's got dashes, but he's, he's basically just punches and kicks. He, he's a full fighting, he's a full fighting type for sure. And then Kung Lao actually I thought would be really cool is a fighting but also steel so fighting steel type i don't know how that would fit in the actual pokemon world but but i love the typing i, I love that that just fits him too as a character and then asha of course is going to be a ghost type obviously a demon it just, obviously just makes sense she's, she's gonna be a full fledged ghost type i think she's the first character here as well that's like a full-fledged ghost type. Natara is actually our first full-fledged flying type. Uh, she she's the she's the Pidgeot you catch in the first you know round. She's gonna be a really good starter character. She's the flying type. She's the only one on this list I think that actually is the like a flying type Pokemon. Havoc is gonna be another dual type here. Poison Ghost. I feel like the blood is that going on poisons you. I feel like he's a ghost type because what he can do with his body. It, it just kind of makes sense to me. But but I oh man, he was a bit harder to put into a typing. But 
but I but I think I'm happy with the poison ghost. We have to do the cameos, of course, too. And Darius is gonna be our very first normal type. There's nothing crazy about him that screams other typing, so I think normal fits pretty well. Serena, just like Ashra, is gonna be a full-on ghost typing Pokemon. Her, Ashra, they're in the same, not the same like you know, evolution line, but they're in the same ghost line they're both just a full-fledged ghost types cyrax i don't know why but i feel like he just fits baraka in the way that he's gonna be a bug steel i don't know why he screams bug to me he's definitely steel but the net and just like the the i just he just feels like maybe like a praying mantis kind of, i don't know why he just feels like a bug steel type so weird to me but but it just fits kano has the laser eye yes but i still think he's gonna be a full-fledged normal type as well same with sonya she's gonna be a full-fledged normal type so so far in the base roster we had like no normals and then in the cameos we already have three normal type pokemon we have sonya kano and darius they're just normal pokemon and that's totally okay sector of course is gonna be a five Fire steel type fire steel it makes sense frost is going to be an ice type i don't know what else to say it just makes sense she's ice type with sub-zero jacks of course is going to be another normal type so 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 far we have jacks on Kano, darius that are all normal types and then strikers also just a normal type i don't know what else to really think about i i mean maybe the grenades or like the bullets from the gun could be steel or something i don't know but i feel like he's just more normal type scorpion's going to be a fire duh sub Zero's going to be an ice duh kum lao is already fighting steel duh but shijinko shijinko's going to be like melina he's he's another fairy type i kind of wanted to do like psychic but but the fairy in the way you know he's morphing into his opponent as well the way that he plays i feel like is more fairy-esque i could really see shijinko being a fairy type but taro's gonna be a dual type dark dragon pokemon it just just look at him Th these icons next to him just looks like it's from a pokemon game like dark dragon oh yeah and then goro is gonna be of course a full-fledged dragon type you might argue that motaro deserves to be full-fledged dragon but, or maybe give goro the dark dragon dragon type i for some reason i just i feel like goro is just dragon but then i i feel like for some reason that motaro has that dark with him as well so he's dark dragon and then goro is just dragon now we don't have them on screen right here but of course we have characters coming like omniman and we have tremor based off what we've seen gameplay wise i feel like omniman is going to be a fighting flying type with the ability to levitate because he's always levitating so he's got the ability to levitate fighting flying type which is really cool dual typing but he's also going to be legendary as well so garris is legendary Liu Kang mythic i feel like omniman just fits the legendary typing as well with fighting flying and then tremor of course has to be ground and fire he does the lava he does the ground i feel like crystal is also part of the ground so so ground fire i feel like it's just perfect for tremor as a character it just fits beautifully this was a really fun list to do kind of giving these mortal kombat characters their kind of corresponding pokemon type whether it be a single type or a dual type let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of your main character where did they land in the pokemon typing what pokemon typing would you give them did you agree or disagree with any of these i gave out let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time